Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to Monster Tamer Showcase, the segment on this channel where we talk about new monster taming games. The Last Monsters is a game that's already out in early access, uh, so it's not necessarily new, but it's a game that I've known about, just like Doki V. We talked about Doki V as well. These are games that I've known about, but we haven't really had much information as of late, and the developers for The Last Monsters have been very quiet, but they have here and there sort of popped in, the, in their Discord server. Basically, COVID has shortened, or, or sorry, uh, taken away time for development and that's sort of why there's been a big delay but other than that we don't really know what's going on so anyway um i want to discuss the game we'll sort of go into it uh into what the game systems are uh, we'll check out the trailer and then yeah we'll sort of talk about my thoughts on the whole thing so <clears throat> About the game, so hybrid real-time combat. Prepare and launch uh, monster moves that execute in real time. Spend stamina to enhance the speed, power, and timing of your monster moves. Several other moves will benefit differently from rapid follow-up attacks or slow, powerful strikes. With no RNG mechanics like accuracy or critical strikes, experience strategic combat that seeks to take monster battling to the next level. Survive the wilderness. Travel, camp, and find and prepare your food for your team and your monsters as you journey through the dangerous procedurally generated wilderness areas select between one of three so yeah one of three different routes each of which have their own gameplay adjusting modifiers as you journey from zone to zone traveling with larger teams of monsters might be safer in combat but will require more food to maintain meaningful weather effects experience dramatic changes in the weather that affect combat in ways that cannot be ignored Weather affects monsters based on their elemental type. Take advantage of your environment by choosing the right monsters and correctly choosing your actions in battle. Design your own perfect monster team. Make significant choices about how to develop the stats and movesets of your monsters. Shore up your weaknesses or expand your options battling, uh, in battle by choosing secondary element types. Create teams that fit your ideal combat and survival strategies. Whether you focus on mitigating damage in a slow-paced tactical combat or opt for a riskier plan in all aggression. The power of bonds. Earn friendship and loyalty of your monsters by keeping them happy and reap material benefits in combat and survival. Stronger bonds with your monsters will allow them to efficiently boost their moves in combat and endure more KOs before dying. Uh, when monsters die, they are gone forever. So this is another game with... Uh, permadeath like kindred fates or uh, uh, necromancer's gift games like that <clears throat> monsters with higher bonds have more life points and can endure more chaos in battle your favorite monsters life points can be restored by allowing it to rest in storage um, or monsters uh, you care nothing for may be sacrificed in combat to make hasty escape from dangerous situations monster death can be disabled via difficulty setting so that's something that maybe if you're not uh, a fan of permadeath you can just uh, disable it completely uh, customizable difficulty so there's settings for every kind of player independently uh, adjust difficulty options for survival combat and monster death disable monster death in, uh, completely or increase attention in combat by playing nuzlocke inspired settings where even one ko means permadeath for your monsters play using the standard survival mode where each second counts and you must um you must uh, feed your monsters because they grow hungry in real time or play at your own pace using the alternative survival mode where hunger is not affected by the game clock but instead is exclusively tied to healing at monster camps. End of days mode, a respectable challenging survival mode where the towns you seek to save grow closer to destruction each day as the world's monsters grow stronger. Use your strongest monsters with the deepest bonds to overcome this nightmare scenario. So the reason I didn't I didn't say, uh, you know, usually when I do a Monster Tamer showcase uh, at the beginning, I'll be like, you know, this is this game. This is a monster taming RPG with this, this, this and that. The reason I didn't give that that sort of brief summary at the beginning was because this game's a uh, very unique. I, I I think its description talks for itself. And I think this trailer is going to give you guys an idea of what the game entails. Uh, so we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna watch the trailer and sort of go through it. And then um, I'll give you guys my final thoughts at the end.
I definitely appreciate them having character customization on a side note. As far as the battles go, um, I don't have much to say just yet because they look very uh, complicated. <laughs> it's something I'd probably have to play before I could I, I could uh, give you guys my opinion on that. But character customization is always nice. You got skin, body, head, uh, clothing, colors, eyes, eyebrows, ears. Anything you'd expect from a game with uh, a good character customization um, option. Yeah, they got a lot of options with these sliders and stuff like that. I don't think I've seen anything like this in any of the Monster Tamer games yet. I could be wrong. I don't recall any of the Monster Tamer games being this customizable. So you have some like bonding mini games and then you could feed your monsters and stuff like that. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Uh, so for the trailer anyway, the graphics of the game look look pretty nice. Like they're not, they're, uh, obviously they're not like PS5 or anything like that. Like, you know, they're serviceable. I don't think they look bad. Some of the monster designs, like this cat thing, I, I think it looks pretty cool. So some of them look kind of strange. But, like, I like the bird and the cat thing. Like, they, they, they're looking pretty nice. The, uh... The battle HUD, in my opinion, like, like just, just, uh... I think the monsters are kind of too close to each other. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like the, this this Pegasus thing, like, looks like it's basically beside the, uh... The cat thing. But, other than that, like, I, I, I don't know. I, th I think the game looks pretty cool. But here you can see some Im images. Like, this is nice. Um, and then, and then from the, the top down, um, and you like, like, you know, the, the, the game doesn't look like, um, like next gen or anything, but, but as far as like, uh, indie games go, like I, I'm, I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, here, I, I don't like how it looks here. I, I, I don't like how, how the monsters are lined up. I, I don't know why it looks like that, but I, I feel like they're too close together. And, um. I guess the characters look kind of more like anime-ish, but then everything else doesn't fit that that style. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, yeah, you you know, you know, I'm I'm thinking it looks uh, it looks pretty interesting. Like it looks like the game looks pretty nice. It's nice artwork. Uh, the monster designs uh, for me are you know some. I like some others. I don't like much. Uh, you can even start without a starter, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, but okay, so so my thoughts regarding not just the game, but sort of what's going on. So I think it's uh, the responsibility of uh, developers and 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 you know that this game I believe was was uh, backed on Kickstarter. It's very important that you keep people updated. A lot of people I've seen asking like, is this game still in development? What's going on? Even if nothing's happening, I, I do think, especially with um, Kickstarter and whatnot, there should be at least like a once a month type thing. Like, hey guys, like you know this. E even if you've only worked on like a tiny amount of, th like even if what you have worked on is completely minuscule, because people have put money into it, I do think that they're entitled to a sort of at least a monthly update. I understand with COVID things have been like difficult and, and, and whatnot, but I, I, I do think even if it's just like a little announcement on the discord, Hey guys, you know, we were able to do this this month or we weren't able to do anything this month, whatever. I do think it's important to keep everyone updated. This isn't like a, like, you know, you hear about like fan games and stuff like that, that sort of go off the grid. I mean, my own ROM hack kind of went off the grid for a little while. I did t tell people I was taking a break, but the difference is people hadn't paid for that. So because people have paid for this, I do think that, and people are, you know, there's a lot of people buying the early access. Um, I do think that it's very important that people get a, 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 at least somewhat 
uh, constant updates on the game. Uh, as far as um, getting it though, I I'm gonna buy it. Um, I'm probably I, I I would like to do a let's play for you guys, or at least like a uh, stream or something. So let me know if that's something you are interested in. I I have a big queue of games that I'm playing, so this probably won't be for a little while, but. Uh, yeah, let, let me know if it's something you'd be interested in. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are uh, on the game. And yeah, I'm not sure when it's uh, when it's planned for full release or when the next update's coming, but hopefully we can get some information on that soon. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you can. Follow me on Twitter at GymLeaderEd. You can come join our Monster Taming Discord, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.